Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. This is going to be my new series. I'm going to call it Farm Life. So I did have a cottage living series but it ended and I really do miss playing with you know all the farm animals and everything like that. So I decided to do a new series. Now there's no like rules or this isn't really a challenge. It's just going to be a family and we're just going to go with the flow with it. <laughs> So here we have Rebecca Davis. Now I did make a video about if I should start this challenge or not and I had a few people comment so thank you everyone so much for commenting. And two people which is the official Addy and Chaz Sheed. Sorry if I say that wrong so we'll just go with Chaz. So they both commented the name Rebecca. Now when Chaz commented it was for the twin girls that she's pregnant with to be named Robin and Rebecca. But since two people commented Rebecca, I decided to go with Rebecca for her name. Because, you know, I want to try to use everyone's comments and names and everything like that. So that's what we went with, is Rebecca. And we have her as country caretaker, loves the outdoors, family-oriented, and animal enthusiast. And then her likes and dislikes, she likes painting, green, pink, cooking, and gardening. Because for her career, I'm probably just going to do gardening, you know, so she'll be like a stay-at-home mom or she'll work from home and as for her backstory she has a mom and dad a grandma which is her mom's mom and then she does have a sister which i will show them in a second i actually traveled to their house so i could show you everyone but pretty much she got pregnant when she was young we're gonna say she's 18 now because she has a young adult and she also got pregnant out of wedlock which if you don't know what that means that means that her and the baby dad were not married and her parents are very very against that they're also very rich, so they're like snobby and proper and all those terrible things. Yeah, they pretty much disowned her. They don't like each other at all. And then as for the baby dad, he actually did not want to be around at all. Like when she told him he was pregnant, he pretty much said he wanted nothing to do with her or the babies. And then as for her grandma and her sister, they still have a very good relationship. They still love her. her and since her mom and dad kicked her out, the grandma actually decided to go ahead and buy her a house since the whole family is very wealthy off. So yeah, so her grandma bought her a house and her and her sister still have a great relationship. But as for her parents and the baby dad, not so much, not at all. <laughs> so I will show you everyone in just a second, but here are her outfits. I did try to use pretty much everything from cottage living for the most part. Their clothes aren't that great, but some of them are really cute. Oh, and I just realized, oh, it's because she's pregnant, that shirt. Maybe we should change that. We'll go ahead and leave it for right now. But yeah, so those are her outfits. And then we also have little Pixie here. I actually looked up, like, dogs that are most, you know, I guess used at a farm or farm dogs. And this was the second option, which is the Great Pyrenees. I believe that's how you say it. When they're adult, they're so cute and big and fluffy. So I decided to use that. So we have Rebecca and we have Pixie. And then... As I said in the video that I asked about the series, she is pregnant with twin girls. Okay, so this is her parents' house, and this is her dad, Gregory. Don't love him. <laughs> and then this is her sweet little grandma, Amy. Like I said, still love her. She still loves us. Alrighty, and then this is her lovely sister, Alyssa. They look so much alike, and she's actually a teen. And then where is the mom? Okay, and then this is her mom. You can't really see her, but it's Andrea. And then this is her baby dad. So I actually, I was going to move him out, but I forgot. But yeah, he's actually living here right now. So yeah, as you see, we have a horrible relationship with him too. So that is the family. So I don't know if the Sims that are disliked, even though it's like her mom and dad, I don't know. It's like her mom, dad, and her baby dad. I don't know if they'll still try to come visit or anything especially when she has the twins. I don't know how this game works when you hate people like that because I've never done a story like this, so I'm not sure. But yes, we definitely hope to have Alyssa and her grandma Amy visit because we love them. And then also I forgot to mention, they, like I said, they do have really bad traits. Well, not Amy and Alyssa, not the grandma and the sister, but the parents have really bad traits like proper, snob, high maintenance, all that stuff. And then her baby dad, I gave him like mean, evil, things like that. <laughs> Just because they're terrible people, obviously, if they disown her just for being pregnant. Okay, so this is where I moved her into. It's actually right near, you know, the little town where there's the bar, the grocery store, and all those things. And then this whole world, I did place completely new people that are the same age as her. Just so she can make friends and everything like that. And eventually, you know, find a boyfriend or husband. 
eventually. But let's go ahead and put little Pixie down here because I don't think she can walk up the steps on her own. So this is our house. This is the house that was actually here on this lot, so I just left it because I thought it was pretty cute and the setup was pretty decent. I did change a few things, like this was really dark, so I changed everything light outside. I just kept the roof because you don't really ever see it anyways. And then for the inside, so you go into the front door and then we have the kitchen right here. And then we have the little bathroom over here behind the kitchen. We have the living room. This will be the twins room. And then this is Rebecca's room. And I didn't change much in here. I just changed the color of the counters and I actually left the couch and everything. So I didn't think it was that bad for now. Eventually, you know, we'll upgrade and all those good things. And I also just realized I did not change her money. So let's actually, even though her grandma helped her out and bought this house, you know, she did say she needed to work for her money on her own just because she wants her to be independent and all those good things. Let's start out with $5,000. I think that's good. Okay, and that should give us enough to get some animals and start our garden and everything here. Oh, the little pixie is so cute. And then this is the outside here. I did change this up a lot just because the way it was built, you couldn't fit an animal shed. And I really want to have a cow to start off with and a couple chickens. So we will actually start off here with Dusty Den. Okay, we're going to go ahead and just whatever the name generates for these, we'll name them the chicken. That's cute. And then let's go ahead and purchase, let's do a spotted cow. And then here we are going to purchase, let's do a black rooster and let's do a white hen. And maybe they will make us some lovely babies. <laughs> and then as for the names, I am going to leave them as, you know, spotted cow, hen, rooster, whatever. And I would love for you guys to leave me names for our first little three animals. And then also, let's see, she just got pregnant. So yeah, she'll be in our second trimester in 22 hours. So I'm so excited for the little babies to be born. So yes, if you would please leave me names for our new cow and our new little hen and rooster. I would absolutely love for you guys to do that. So this was pretty much just an introduction. So we will definitely get all the fun things started in the next episode. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.